1990s graduation ceremony. Tonight we are here to celebrate the completion of four years of hard work and dedication. These past years at Riverbank uh, have been a great experience which will help us deal with life in the real world. As I look out into the audience, I am reassured of the pride and the happiness of our families and friends and the feelings 
that they have about our accomplishments. For some of us, this is a sad moment, and for others, it is a step towards adulthood and new responsibilities. What I'll remember most about Riverbank is the times I spent here with my many friends. I've made an experience I've shared with my friends and faculty, and the lessons which enabled me to grow up, and I wouldn't trade any of these for the world. These following passages are indictments of what I'm feeling of the completion of my high school year. To believe is to look at the tiny seed and envision a blossoming flower. To believe to say farewell to the sun with assurance of golden tomorrow. To believe is to cling to impossible dreams and strive for you make them come true. I believe that we, the class of 1990, will experience many joys and sorrows throughout our lives. I believe that our memories will remain close in our hearts forever. As today approached, I found myself thinking about life a little more seriously. I was thinking about the people responsible for being here tonight. This poem expresses my thoughts about us, the class of 1990. Today, I found myself thinking of you. I thought of all that we have shared in the short time we have known each other. And suddenly, I want to tell you that you have left me with so many tender memories to brighten my life as we depart. Congratulations, graduates. Let's continue to grow and remember that no matter what, we will always have these memories. And to the class of 1990, we love you. And thanks. Peace. Administration, faculty, parents, friends, and fellow graduates, we've spent the last four years of our life looking for tonight. And now that we're finally here, we have a right to be proud. But not so proud as to think that we made it here by ourselves. Each of us has special individuals to whom we have to say thank you. I would like to take this moment to thank my parents. We've always been a very, very close family. And they helped me keep my goals in mind. Also, I would like to thank Sue Rich, because her enthusiasm in teaching made it fun for me to learn. And lastly, I would like to thank God for giving me the abilities that have brought me to this point tonight. I'd like to leave my class with this thought. God has given each of us a gift, but a gift isn't anything if you don't put it to use. Dare to take a chance. <coughs> If you don't try, you can't fail, but you can't succeed either. The world needs your talent. So tonight, as we step into adulthood, take that chance and dare to be you. At this time, we honor the life members of the California Scholarship Federation. Will the Gold Cord Seniors please step forward? These four students have earned life membership by being in CSF for at least four semesters starting with their sophomore grades. CSF semester membership is awarded to those students who have earned more A's than B's in college preparatory classes. 
We can all appreciate the hard work it took to achieve those grades. Although membership is determined by scholarship, CSF is a service organization. Many hours of service have been given unselfishly by these and other CSF members. Therefore, in the spirit of the CSF motto, scholarship for service, I wish these special students continued excellent scholarship and meaningful service in their futures. It gives me great pleasure to present these life membership certificates for the California Scholarship Federation. Our first recipient is Robin DeYoung. Veronica Vargas. Raul Mendez. And Daniel Garcia. Thank you. Well, here we are today, the class of 1990, at the start of a new beginning in our lives that will open up new doors, leading us to take the first step into a world full of opportunities. We have what it takes to make somebody of ourselves and to overcome any obstacle in our way. We're being hard because we can accomplish anything we want to. So congratulations, class of 1990. You are the best. Thank you. Doing everything you want. Thank you. Once we finished these two years, we finally reached our junior year and thought that we had it all under control, which we didn't. Um, most of our time was spent for the prom, and it went totally berserk. We thought that we had it all under control because we'd arranged everything for three or four months, and come the night of the prom, we got in there, everything was fine, the place was beautiful. But the DGA had forgotten two cases of records, so we ended up playing the same record over and over again. Um, when it came to king and queen voting, we not set it up, we forgot completely about it, and we had to have a little assembly of our own and pick and choose who we thought to visit the most. Um, it turned out to be a mess. The way we earned our money was through the wine and cheese, and we made the most money than most senior or most junior classes that ever made. We made about fifteen hundred dollars, and we thought that was pretty good. But other than that, we didn't do anything else. The school was on our minds, and the assembly weren't. We fully do everything. But I'd like to leave one parting comment to my to my fellow classmates that don't give up because the best is yet to come. Thank you very much but we will be leaving a certificate of deposit for $100 for them to purchase new flags for the poll in front of the school. A flag, a United States flag, and a California flag. And that has occurred in our country, the freedom that we have now, the opportunity for us to be educated, and the opportunity to reach for our dreams. Thank you. Thank you very much, Juan, and the class of 1990 will fly the flags with pride and think of the class of 1990 every day. Welcome everyone to this beautiful celebration of success. We as parents, relatives, and friends are here to applaud the successful completion of this very important step in the lives of these young men and women. But as we applaud as we applaud them, we must also remind them that this is only one more step along the path of their lives. From here, those paths will begin to diverge and separate. But no matter what direction or steepness of their chosen paths, after today, each one of these graduates can look back 
and point to their membership in the Bruin family with pride. And I'm proud to have known every one of these young men and women. On the behalf of the faculty of Riverbank High School, I certify that these students about to receive their diplomas have met all the requirements for graduation established by the Board of Trustees of the Oakdale Joint Union High School District. Dr. Kirkpatrick, it is with great pleasure that I present you this graduating class of 1990. Thank you, Mr. Rosinas. It's my pleasure to introduce to you the members of the Board of Trustees of the Oakdale Joint Union High School District who will be awarding diplomas tonight, uh, representing the Knights Ferry and the Valley Home area. And if they would stand briefly as I call their names, Mrs. Melissa Bell. <laughs> representing Oakdale, Mr. Gary McAndrews. This year's clerk of the board, representing Waterford, Roberts Ferry, and LaGrange, Mr. Richard Vaughn. And this year's president of the High School District Board of Trustees uh, and the Riverbank representative, Mr. Samuel Bates. Uh, Mr. Rizzi. Raul Romali Mendez. Kimberly Ann Overdevest. Ron Michael Fannin. Veronica Sandoval Vargas. Christopher Douglas Ellen Johnson. Rodney Kevin Terman. Bradina Marie Buckingham. Brandon Eugene Hendricks. Sophie Zacharias Christopher Charles Wagner Sarah Perez Raphael Q. Rada Danera Garcia. Jason Scott Massey. Tiffany Charmaine White. David Shane Steed. Rosie Angela Munoz. Luis Raul Lopez. Jennifer O'Neill. Frank Hernandez. Raymond 
M. Trujillo. Yvette Nicole Landrum. Louis Santos, Jr. Lisa Joey Costa. Lori Ann Pollard. Shane Robert Sinclair. Lori Marie Garcia. Smile. Daniel Garcia. Chrissy D. Ballard. Jeffrey Jones. Terry Charlene Pope. Michael R. Bell. Teresa Reynoso Gutierrez. Samuel Saldivar Gutierrez. Hilda Ayala Fernandez. <laughs> David Espinoza. <laughs> Mireya Vega Lopez. <laughs> Marcus Manriquez Ramos. <laughs> Lancastela Fernandez Ayala. Refugio Antonio Duran. Crystal Marlene Caetano. Gary John Silstra. Anaceli Ramirez. <laughs> Ricardo Flores Jr. Escarino. <laughs> Maribel Lopez Vega. <laughs> Oscar Manriquez. Stacy Wynn Vance. Ernesto F. Arroyo Jr. 
Delta Me Turney. Octavio Ortiz Manriquez. Marlene Ajander. Carl O'Brien Tigner. Yesterday will be the starting point of tomorrow. Together we have come a long way, but the road to success is far from being accomplished. We must continue to strive forward towards our dreams and see that nothing until they are reached. The next few years will be difficult as we attempt to adapt to the freshness of life. But we must be strong, we must be bold, and we must never forget that together we stand and know that we do. The past four years have enabled us to grow and mature. No longer are we the timid freshmen of yesterday who struggled, who struggled for acceptance, direction, and advice. No, today we are leaving the nest as ambitious young adults, ready to confront each obstacle which life may present. So as we leave these precious years behind, let us not forget the accomplishments and adversities which we have encountered together. And let us not forget our families and our loved ones who have continuously mended our wounds with their love and support. A few years ago, I attended one of my older brother's high school graduation here at RHS. I remember hearing a poem concerning the adversities and frustration of life. This poem, from that point on, has had a special place in my heart. And tonight, I would like to share it with my classmates. Footprints. One night, 